humans, I'm in. <coughs> Hello humans, I'm Annalisa, and today I have such a fun video. I am really good at thrift shopping, and so I have a thrift shop sweater haul for you today for all the things that I've collected, I think over like a few days ago and last year. Most of them were from a few days ago. So I will start showing you those and kind of talking about them, and I cannot wait for you to see. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Oh! <gasps> Oh. oh oh, my goodness, I pretty much accepted my death in that moment. I'm home alone and it's storming. Which is, by the way, why the lighting sucks. I have the exposure up as far as it can go on the lens. Oh. Whoa. Well, that's a good heart pumper. First, I'm going to show you one of my all-time favorite sweaters. It is so good for going out. And I love it. It has the broad white stripe over the top, and then it continues into thick navy stripes towards the bottom, and then has more of a cinched hip, waist, and wrist uh, cuff area, uh, which is the same cinch pattern as the turtleneck. And I just love it because it's a very structured turtleneck. It's not the floppy, heavy knit one. So it gives it more of a modern, uh, chic, classy look. So you can wear it out. Get yourself a structured turtleneck sweater for this season. Now I have this gorgeous color. Look at this color. This color is so good. So it's this royal blue-ish color that has a beautiful knit pattern on the front and I love that and it's cold shoulder. I'm pretty sure that I made it a cold shoulder one, but it's okay, it works. This is originally American Eagle Outfitters. Uh, I love this because if it's not quite cold enough where you need something like this, you can throw this on and still have your arms be warm, but have a little bit of a cooler look on top because it is the cold shoulder uh, cut. First, I have this classic retro red knit sweater. Um, I have some retro high-waisted mom jeans that this just gives such a good vibe with. It's thick, it's warm. Um, the sleeves are pretty short, so they're great for using that shirt to kind of roll up underneath and create just another dynamic with it. Now I have this gorgeous sweater and it is big and cozy and warm and it has this amazing high neck collar seam around the top. So yeah, the drop shoulder look is so cute and flattering on everyone. I love it. The sleeves on this are massive but then they cinch at the bottom and it's just such a great sweater. I wear it a lot and I've only had it for a few days. I have this amazing blush pink knit sweater. The pattern on this one actually continues throughout the entire thing. Typically they just have the knit pattern on the front and I love the one in this. It's a more cropped look, but then the sleeves are huge. It's just an amazing look. It's a fall look with pastel colors. So that is it for, uh, no it's not. No it's not. I haven't talked about this one. Okay, so this is this, uh, this giant sweater and it is, I think one of my longest sweaters you can fold it up underneath to make it a little shorter. You can tuck it in the front. It's The sleeves are the perfect length. It's another drop shoulder shirt. The color is what really sold me though. The color and I just love the heavy knit because carrying around a coat is my biggest pet peeve ever. So if I can just wear crap that's warm, mm -hmm, that's what I'm gonna do. So I also sometimes do the collar underneath this. But right now, I just, I like the turtleneck instead, and so this is what I went with. So I hope you enjoy. Stay weird. Let me know any other fall haul, decorating, fashion, makeup, anything videos that anyone's interested in. 